Here's how to do the Ready, Set, Go for Lesson 6. This should be familiar to us. We're filling in missing parts of a pattern. We're trying to figure out if it's a multiplying pattern or an adding pattern. Uh, this first pattern is adding 5 every time. And so this would make the missing number 20 and at the end 35. If it's an adding pattern, we call it the common difference. If it's a multiplying pattern, we call it the common ratio. The reason is, when you take a number, any number in that list, say you take 15, and you subtract the number that came before it, you'll get the same answer every time. Let's take 30. 30 minus 25 is 5. It's common. It appears over and over again, the common difference. Difference meaning subtract. And of course, that number was 5. This is a, an arithmetic sequence. Now, in number two, it's not subtracting. It's actually, well, you don't want to really say divide. You want to say multiplying by a number between zero and one. Take a number, divide by the one that came before it. That tells you the common ratio. <coughs> so it's a ratio. It's 0.5. And this is geometric. By the way, the missing parts here would be um, half of 10 would just be 5. Half of 2.5 is 1.25. Number 3 is adding 3 every time. So this will be 11. And this will be 17. This is a common difference of 4. Uh, sorry, 3 plus 3. And that makes it arithmetic. And then on number four, we're subtracting six. So subtract six here and you're gonna to get to 18. Keep on subtracting six as you go along. That means that the it is a difference. It's negative six because it's going down and it is arithmetic. Now for our set, it's very similar to the ready except that we're going to create the recursive and explicit expressions. So this first one is adding 2, 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 2, 6, 6 plus 2, 8. This makes it arithmetic, where the common difference is 2. To do the recursive, we say, where does it start? It starts at 2, and then... Um, what do you do to the previous to get the next one? You multiply, no, sorry, you add two. So previous plus two. The explicit would be f of n is the first number, two, plus the common difference, two, times n minus one. Number six is a multiplying pattern. You wouldn't know until the third number because you, although you can add 2 to go from 2 to 4, you need to multiply by 2 to go from 4 to 8. So the common ratio here is 2. That makes it geometric. The recursive, you want to say where does it start? It starts at 2. And next equals 2 times the previous. The explicit would be that f of n equals the first number, 2, the common ratio, 2, to the n minus 1. Number 7 presents it to us as a table, but it's not really very different at all. We're still starting here at 3. We're going up by 4. So this is a, an arithmetic. The recursive, start at 3. And next equals uh, previous plus 4. The explicit would be f of n equals starting point 3, common uh, difference 4 times n minus 1. Number 8 is actually geometric. Take 8 divided by 5, 
you're going to find the common ratio is 1.6. So our start is at 5. And let's write this one in function notation. f of n equals uh, 1.6 times the previous, but the previous is f of n minus 1. Explicitly, that's f of n equals first number times the multiplier to the power of n minus 1. Number 9 is geometric. And so you have to think about what we did last time <clears throat> when we were dealing with percentages in our last lesson. Lesson 6, Launch, Explore, Discuss. Now, this one's a little different in that 10% interest is not going to make this a decreasing sequence. It's going to make it an increasing sequence because not only does Cami get to keep her $6,000, but she's going to earn 10% interest on that, and she keeps that as well. So there's 100%, which is the $6,000, and 10% more for the interest, for a total of 110%. It's more than 100% because she's making money on this. That would make the decimal form of the ratio 1.1. So the recursive is to start at 6,000, and then f of n is, I guess I should write this as f of 1 equals 6,000 if I'm going to do function notation. And then f of n is the starting point, 6,000, times 1.1 to the n minus 1. Explicitly, oh, that is the explicit, sorry. That goes here. The recursive was f of n equals 1.1 times f of n minus 1. And then finally, Scott, he's going to run a total of one mile his first week. That's his beginning value. And then he's going to double. So that doubling, that means that the ratio is 2. And this would be his f of 1. It is geometric. The recursive is, hold on, I did it again. Let's do this consistently. f of 1 is 1. And f of n equals the previous, let's see, 2 times the previous. 2 times the previous. Explicitly, that's f of n equals the beginning number, 1, times the ratio of 2 to the n minus 1. Or more likely, you're not going to see it written with the 1. It'll just be 2 to the n minus 1. And finally, in the Go section, we're just practicing evaluating functions at different uh, values. Uh, part A is 2 to the 5th, or 32. And then, remember, take a number to the 0 power, and it's equal to 1 f of 4 means 5 to the 4th, that's 25 times 5, 125 times 5, uh, 625. f of 1 means 5 to the 1, it's just 5. Negative 2 to the 3rd, the way it's written with parentheses means this, and that's negative 8. But still, you take negative 2 to the 0 power, and you get 1. Now, in this one, the parentheses are gone. So it's just negative 2 to the 3rd. And that means negative 2 times negative. No, nope. sorry, that's wrong. Only one negative, 2 and a 2. Because the negative is not being repeated three times here. Negative 8, 
and f of zero is negative two to the zero, the two is taken to the zero power. That's a one, but the negative still remains, and that's negative one. And finally, f of five, three plus four times five minus one, that's three plus four times four. Three plus 16 or 19 is our answer. And f of zero is three plus four times zero minus one. Or three plus four times negative one. That's three minus four, that's negative one. This is the end of the Ready, Set, Go. We'll see you in lesson seven.